Hi, it's Gareth from Northern Farm Caravan Sales. I'm um, just going to take you through a run through on your new booking here. We'll start off with your self leveling system. Uh, the most important thing about the EMP self leveling system is when you look at the caravan, you can see that the front is way below the back of the van. This is essential to actually get the self leveling system to kick in. Oh, well, this is your main control panel for your self leveling system. As you can see, you've got a manual mode and an automatic mode. Having the caravan in a low position at the front enables you now to press the manual control. Here you've got auto up, auto down. So as long as the van's down at the front, just press and away you go. the handset from the fascia okay which now makes it a remote also in an emergency should this pack up with a power issue you have got two little inlets there and an arrow on either side if you just push a pen in it allows you to raise or lower the system without using your handset a big issue is when you come to fit your Alco wheel locks on a traditional van you'd have to find a jack with a self-leveling system, you just take it into manual. Your A-frame is at the front there, so you just need to bring your near side leg down. This will act like a jack and allow you to rotate the tires so you can line your Alco wheel locks up and away you go. When you're in the manual mode, you can bring all the legs down individually, be it the front, the back and the two jacks in the centers. The only way to get them to come back up though is going back into home page, go to automatic, and then bring the legs back up auto. And that's the EMP self leveling system. Okay, we're at the off side of your caravan now, and the first box that you come to is your water housing. The pump will be inside your sink when you receive your caravan. It's just a case of pushing it in, pushing the lid back down to hold the pump into position, and then lowering the pump into your water barrel. Here on the off side again, your main battery box and your 230 location for your external supply. When you're fitting in the external lead, it drops into this little cutout here. Make sure when you're pushing the lead in and it, that it goes fully into the top so there's no gap between the male and female. This is your toilet cassette. If you've had caravans in the, in the past, you'll notice that on this van, there is no flush tank above the cassette holder itself. It's purely because this system now is fed directly from your 40 litre barrel from the external supply. To remove your cassette, you just lift the orange handle and slide forward. If you get any resistance when you try to get the cassette out, don't try and force it out. It simply means that the toilet inside the van, the flap has been left open. Trying to pull it out while it's like that will cause damage to the cassette and also the base of the toilet. So now you set up the external side of the caravan. All you need to do then is when you step into the van, the top left hand corner is your main 12 volt switch. Okay, that gives power to the rest of the control panels below. Okay, so working from left to right, you've got your gas locker box light, your awning light, main ceiling lights, and rest of the living room lights. The next one along is your water system for the caravan. You've got your isolator switch to the left, and a rocker switch to the right. The Buccaneer has a fresh water onboard tank, so if you're caravanning during the winter, you can bring water onto that tank and stop it from freezing. You can also just bring the water directly from your water barrel to your taps. The way you do that is the rocker switch in the middle on the zero, and this switch on will just bring the water straight from your barrel straight to your taps. If you want to fill your onboard tank, you just press it down to external, that will fill the tank with a 40 litre capacity. And on this panel here, you've got your capacity there. 
When you want to use the onboard tank then, you still leave the isolator switch on, turn it to internal, use no messing about with valves or changeover valves or anything like that. It's all done by solenoid, so it's just a simple one, two, three step. Hey, welcome to your Aldi heating system. It's a simple touchscreen um, mechanism. On the left, you've got your on-off button. On the right, you've got your main menu button. On the display screen at the moment, it's telling us that the internal temperature of the caravan has just reached 30.5 degrees Celsius, which is above the capacity of the heater itself. Unfortunately, with the caravan being 31 degrees Celsius, I can't turn the heating up enough to get the circulation pump to us appear in this corner, which will just be a round symbol, and that identifies that the caravan system is actually sending heating around the van itself. Also on the screen in the top right hand corner you've got 230 emblem just to let you know that you've got 230 coming into the caravan. Pressing the menu button will take you into the main menu itself. The top one is your central heating. This is your temperature gauge. This allows you to set the temperature to whatever you require. You're going up to a maximum of 30 and also down to 5 which is its lowest setting. The symbol just below with the shower head is not a hot water on off switch. It is purely a, um, a boost button. You can see that the wedge is half filled. If you turn it on full, what that does then is shuts the circulation pump off for half an hour while it concentrates the heat all around the hot water tank. After that half hour period, it will revert back to half fill and your circulation symbol on the main screen will return. The third line down is your power supply. You've got one, two or three kilowatts. So depending on the caravan side that you're on and the breakers that they have on their pitches will determine how much power you can actually use in the system itself. To the bottom left is the gas symbol. If you want to use the heating on the gas, you just press the gas symbol and it will turn green. The bottom right hand side of the screen is a cog. If you go into here, you go into all your settings. Most of these are in your manuals. Um, but you can set timings for central heating. If you do get to the stage where you put something into the control panel and then you can't work out what's happened, you can go to the reset button. Simply press the reset button, press reset, and it will take it back to factory fitting. Just be aware, when you do go back into factory settings, it will automatically set your temperature to 22 degrees. It will lower your kilowatts down to one, but most importantly, it will automatically try and light it on gas. So if you have got your gas turned on, you could be running the system on both electric and gas. Yeah, this is the control panel for your Dometic fridge. Straightforward enough. To the left is your on off button. It will automatically look for a power source. You can see now it's gone straight to electric. If you do want to use it on gas, all you do is press the gas symbol and it changes and self-ignites for yourself. Battery is only for when in towing and the ignition on your vehicle, tow vehicle is switched on. If you do, then go to your thermostat, always put your fridge on for the first two, two and a half hours on a maximum setting, and then after that, back it off to around about three. If you leave the door open or you have a power supply issue, be it gas has run out, the fridge will automatically give you an alarm and start flashing and bleeping. In the rear of the caravan, in the furthest wardrobe uh, at the back, you'll come across your LD header tank. You don't really need to do anything about this one. Just keep your eye on the system. When the system is cold, the fluid should be at the minimum. And you can see as the heating has gone up, the um, fluid has increased in height. As you enter the caravan, the locker above you on the right hand side contains your solar panel, control panel, your TV booster, which is the little white one, and also your status aerial. You can raise and lower this by undoing the turnbuckle at the top, rotating it up and then rotating until you get the best picture and then lock it back into position and then away you go, it's just a case of tuning the TV in. To the left of it is your solar panel, you don't need to touch that in any way. That was a brief handover video of your brand new Buccaneer Caravan from us here at Northern Farm Caravan Sales. We hope you found that informative and helpful. Should you require any further information, do be sure to give us a call on 01278 751 244. 
It's option four for parts and service, and one of our technical team will be more than happy to help. Alternatively, for frequently asked questions and troubleshooting issues, do be sure to consult your caravan manual. We hope you enjoy your purchase, and thank you for your business.